Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, <clears throat> we'll look at ladies from 40 to 60. And gentlemen, while we have some <laughs> pretty insane ones today, uh, a lot of these ladies are focused on the wrong things in their profiles. They talk a lot about, like they're worried about bedroom fun. They're worried about guys who just want that. It's like, ma'am, I mean, you, you're, you know, you're in, 50 plus years old and also we're going to debunk that real quick about you know women certainly do uh, uh have bedroom fun with chad and also it's not really okay so we've shown this before but you know we have a ton of new subscribers i want to and again uh, welcome to the channel uh you know we're growing so quickly and I'm, I'm thrilled anyway so on dating house this is one of the charts we talked about most people have not had a one night stand on a dating app. And you can see right here, 52% of people, this is men and women, have not had, uh, at least that's what they're self-reporting, have not had a uh, one night stand. You can see only 5.7% have. And lo and behold, of course, that's about as much as women swipe and they've had more than 10 hookups. And let's guess who that is. Yep, it's this guy and he's not gonna commit to them. And that's the problem right now. All the women want, the highly guy that you know they want the chad they want tyrone they want the guy they're highly attracted to and because these older ladies uh, as we've said he can't just be hot he's also now got to be rich he's got to be on the level so if they make two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year they want chad to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year it's absolutely preposterous and again and you're like well men have standards too men have different standards they'll date a waitress who doesn't have any money and whisk her around the world who's just just because she's attractive they don't care about your path, your your accomplishments, ma'am. That's what you care about with men. These ladies went the man's path and they now they're so confused. We've seen an episode, if you have one of my other previous episodes, a dating coach who was in her 50s, stopped working with women above 53. She said, I, they're so unrealistic. I can't even work with them anymore. She literally stopped taking their, because she's like, they still want, they want all the tingles still. They want a guy that they're highly attracted to and makes money. And those kind of guys are dating much younger women. Let's get in the profiles. So in Dating Delusions, we always start with a great profile. This is the great profile today. And gentlemen, now, <clears throat> let's take a step back before I talk about this. Um, you know, I've gotten lots of questions sometimes and I read the comments always, and I always appreciate the comments. Uh, they, they, you know, basically talking about, well, why doesn't she have a man? I mean, yes, you do look at a very gorgeous woman, even at any age and go, why can't she find a guy? And it could be her standards. It absolutely could be. That no question, it could be her standards. So I, I'm not saying it's not. I can only judge how they've written their profile about their pictures and then go from there and then just say, hey, she, this person's done a great job. She could have just been single. She might have just been on a relationship. I mean, there are breakups. I mean, I get it. We, we're not in a society where, of course, hypergamy is a thing and people leave their relationships. But anyway, just that caveat. But her in a vacuum in terms of who she is, this woman is absolutely gorgeous still at 53 years old. That's, that's the point of this profile. So she says about me. Ready for my next chapter. Two older kids, 25 and 22. I mean, I would generally meme them for this because it's right, putting their kids out there, but she, she could just say adult kids, ma'am. It doesn't really matter. If you have young kids, we won't likely be a match. That's that's completely fair. Love, travel. God, I mean, uh, I, mean I will have to meme that. Nope. Yeah, Jeez, yes, ma'am, you all do. Okay, fine. But uh, the, the way she wrote this now, and she looks like she has some expensive taste. So again, she won't be for everybody and she probably can get a chat because she's so attractive still at 53. This woman does not look her age, she continues. Live music, classic rock and a good martini, zero drama. I mean, ma'am, I don't always believe that, but see her up here. I mean, she is skinny. She's a size zero probably. She's down here with a friend. Here's another picture. I mean, it's not just as she really attracted all her friends. So, I mean, I, I don't know what friend group they have, but they, I mean, these women in their fifties, if she's also in her fifties, get hit on just plenty. I mean, when you look like this in your fifties, you can avoid this. Into the danger zone. Absolutely there. I mean, she gets plenty of swipes. Now, will a younger guy commit to her? Maybe, I mean, in her particular case and in this early, yes. Could they get a guy possibly 40 who's you know, a, a, a Chad type guy, very possibly. Cause I mean, here's her other pictures. She then says, what makes a relationship great is communication, trust, respect and intimacy. Yes, we, that's a very standard answer. But I mean, her, I mean, I, I don't know if this is filtered, but I, this, she found the fountain of youth. Here's her other pictures. 
Now, yeah, this is a, these are kind of expensive clothes, but all her friends, now this is a different friend. All of her friends are like, I don't, I don't, where, I don't know where this was, but my God, very, very attractive women in her friend group. Too. They've all kept in great shape. And ladies, if you found the channel and you're like, I just, he just slams women. I'm not. I'm slamming on the, the delusion of some of these women, but these women aren't delusion. Yeah, they can go get Chad. There's a Chad type guys who absolutely would take the deal with these women. I don't, you know, again, maybe these other women are married. I don't know their situation. We continue. I mean, yes, and she definitely dress. I mean, her friends. My God, her friends. <laughs> so, all right. Again, they're both very fit and attractive. I don't, I don't, I don't know her circumstance. She obviously has some expensive taste, but you know, wherever this, you know, I don't, I don't know where this is, but she's kept herself in great shape. She can swipe on the most attractive guys, and she can probably get relationships from those guys. It's realistic for her. And that's really the main issue here. These older ladies who are overweight and have, you know, baggage and young kids. Yeah, you're not going to get Chad. But these women definitely could. Now, final picture. She's wearing heels, boy. She's in a dress or something very attractive. I mean, she knows how to dress. She knows what men want. She works out. I mean, clearly she watches her diet. Um, you know, she, that, I, you know that, all I can say is her profile was fantastic. Ma'am, you absolutely, you and your friends get a round of applause. And, you know, boys, uh, you know, we look, I throw enough shade on, on women and uh, meme them to when you see something fantastic and, you know, she's doing it right. Um, and there wasn't a lot of there was not requirements that there was not vitriol toward men. And she's yes. Has she possibly been run through? Could be. We, we don't know that. We don't know every single woman's situation, how they got there. She could have just been divorced. And uh, anyway, let's get into the nonsense. So she is 60 and a realtor and says about me. Hello. I'm petite, five five feet tall. Sure, ma'am. I'm a very happy, romantic, honest, positive type of person. Ma'am, how the hell do we know that? There's no one to know that. Looking to meet someone that's emotionally ready to be in a serious relationship if the chemistry is there. <laughs> ma'am, you're 60 years old. You're probably not going to have a ton of chemistry anymore. That time is over. You're well into here. Into the danger zone. He's just, you've got to be realistic. I mean, geez. And of course, she says, I like to travel. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. million. Yeah. Now I know the other lady also said, I like to travel. I could have memed her too, because it's just that you all like, okay, again, you just found the channel. Everyone in the world, other than one lady and one profile, likes to travel. You don't need to put this. If sure, especially when someone else pays for it, because that's what it looks like. Anyway, continue. Live concerts, dancing, wine tastings. Yes, and women all like wine. Got it, ma'am. Enjoy playing golf. I need to practice. Laugh aloud. Sure. Hiking, RV camping, love adventures, including riding the back of a Harley. And ma'am, we know what that means. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> You're still looking for this guy. So come on, baby, stop Ma'am, I had a guy anywhere near your age who's got a Harley, who's a Chad type guy, is not going to date you. They're going to date young. Are you swiping on men in their late 70s? I bet you're not. I bet you're not, ma'am. It's, it's still talking about the bad boy. You're still having hot girl summer, ma'am. Continues. Life is too short, so I enjoy every minute. I'm hoping to meet someone local, no long distance, no hookups. Stop the cap. Ma'am, we all know when if... Take, take a step back. Ma'am, if Harley Ride and Chad or Tyrone showed up and like, get on my Harley and let's go, you know, and you got the wind in your hair and you're all happy with that guy. And he's like, let's go, you know, let's go grab a drink and go back to my place. You would be like this so just don't put this in here of course you do with chad continue so she's 59 and after dumb pronouns and says it's an admin and says about me i want to be a housewife i'm here to tell you right now we don't care let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care ma'am if you wanted to be a damn housewife then secure the man in your 20s and stay with him you can't, it's too late. It's, I can play that meme too. It's way too late for that. You're almost 60. Are, 
are you also swiping on men in their 70s who might take the deal who might take the deal i don't even know a guy in the 70s might just still if he, i mean if he's got that kind of resources he just goes and dates younger women i mean again patrick stewart is with the women 30 years younger than him he's, he's he's like 80 and she's like 50. so i mean those men can date younger women now yeah a guy maybe like you know mid 80s something like that but i mean a guy around your age why would he do it if he has that kind of resource and make you a housewife at 59 ma'am it's just unrealistic to continue so she is 41, a small business owner. See up there and she says, long-term relationship. I'm dating with a purpose. I want an LTR. Sure, ma'am. Now she says then, which is worth splurging on? Weekend getaways, shoes, your casa, whatever makes it feel special. Nope. Ma'am, <laughs> sure sounds like you want a guy to whisk around the world. You say stuff like this and you're gonna want him to buy you things. She continues, I know the best spot in town for cocktails. Okay, this was actually okay until I saw her next picture. She then says, I'm looking for a man that enjoys fine dining, prohibition style bars, travel, spas, and entertainment. It's coming to me now. I see financial disaster in your future. Ma'am, what is in it for the man to do this for you at 41? You're not all that. You're just an average chick and they don't like it, but they are. You're just average. He continues, has a serious side and knows how to enjoy life. Executive types preferred. Fuck, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. Damn, a man in his 40s who's an executive type who can do all the things you're talking about, pro like spend all this money. Why would he do it with you? You're just average. An average guy would be a catch for you. <laughs> they just do not get it. Bruh. You're not gonna, no, you're all not gonna get six figure executive types. Of course, you like a guy who makes a quarter million dollars. I'd like a supermodel, but I'm not gonna get one either. It's ridiculous. Continue. So she is 44, and it says Midwest, Midwest girl here. Definitely not here for the BS head games that's been wishful thinking at this point. I only subscribe to chivalrous, kind, respectful, and spontaneous men. Others will be blocked or ignored. So let's see how this goes. Oh, ma'am, you're having such a pity party over here. Oh, I can't find all the tingles at 44 years old. Ma'am, you're way past this. You are not going to get all of your requirements, though. And it tells us right here that you keep getting run through by Chad because you're writing this crap about head games and BS. That's exactly what's going on. You're matching with guys above your price range. They're not committing to you and it makes you mad. And so you're going to write it all in here. It's so unattractive. <laughs> that's so ridiculous to put. Man, if you don't like a guy, just block him or ignore him. Okay. If he gets disrespect for whatever the hell you're driving at here, or, you know, and all the spontaneous men. Yeah. You want all the tingles and excitement still. It's what you're writing here, ma'am. It's not going to happen unless you swipe correctly. You're an average chick. Are you swiping on guys? who are just average looking. I bet you're not. I bet you're only swiping on Chad. We continue. So she is 45 and you can see she has a nice frowny face up there, did put no makeup on. So you know it's gonna be wonderful. She says about me, blue hoodie, white beanie, Thanksgiving 2022. Great, so she had another picture and okay, ma'am. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just looking, just me looking for my partner. Got it. I mean, that's why you're in dating app. Don't have my shit together. Haha, -ha. why is this a must? Kidding, I have some dot, dot, dot. Oh, hell no. Man, what the hell are you driving at? Raising my girls and has their three kids there. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, ma'am, what? Ma'am, what is it for the man? Also, she's still in college who needs your resource, by the way. So single mom with three kids who's still in college and is complaining about her dating options. Need some normal adult time. My love language is words of affirmation. <laughs> Ma'am, I have this for you. Love languages are bullshit. There you go. Yeah, ma'am, it's stupid. Just <laughs> so dumb to put this. All that doesn't matter. Just who cares, really? Continues. So derogatory, nasty comments or suggestions need not to be said. I'm old school. <laughs> Hang on. Stop the cap. Yeah, continue, ma'am. And been single for a long time, ma'am. <laughs> So I'm confused as to how to go about looking. Hap anyway, happy hunts. 
Smoker, sometimes you look fabulous, sometimes you look like shit. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Man, what a big pity party for yourself on here. I just... <laughs> God, it's so unattractive. Bruh. Ma'am, just a couple nice pictures. You don't have your makeup done. You, you're throwing out here that you have three kids and then you're complaining about men and all that stuff they say. Ma'am, if a guy says stuff that you don't like, you just simply swipe left on him or end the conversation, move on with your day. No, you're gonna put it on your dating profile. You're gonna show us all your trauma and drama. It's very unattractive. And this is what's going to happen to you. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she is 42 and says about me. I'm a realtor here in town, volunteer, and I help foster kids. Ma'am, I'm actually gonna give you this. That's actually absolutely wonderful. I have no problem with that. It's really, her profile is actually fine until we talk more about it. Here. Try to be involved in my community and I'm overall happy. Okay, this is actually fine. I'm looking for someone to compliment my life and not take it over. Ma'am, that sounds like man shaming. Right. Ma'am, if a man quote unquote tries to take your life over, then just stop seeing him. Okay, putting it on here sounds ridiculous. And that's you choose the men you get in relationships with you, that you sorry that you date. Men choose you to get in a relationship. But that's on you, the men you choose, not men. There's tons of men who are good men, but the real problem is coming up. Overall, I want to have a family of my own and enjoy life. <laughs> Ma'am, you're 42. The time for kids and a family is over. You you waited too long. I, I don't know what to say to you. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Ladies, I, let me explain biology one more time for the people in back. You should be here by 35 or married by, by 30. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. If you want a family, you need to be looking for that man well before you get anywhere near 40 years old. The time for kids once you're that age is over. How about new? We continue. So she's 50. Now, she's also very, very attractive. They had There was a full body picture of her. And this, I mean, she she has picked the wrong men. Because, but now she is in college at 50, though. That Hang on. <laughs> Damn, why are you still in college? What are you going to do with this degree? How many more years are you going to work? I, I never understand this. The chick's in college and damn 50 years old. She could, okay, she says, about me. I'm exhausted. Where are you? Okay, now she says that, but then she says this. I've spent the last year falling back in love with myself. I'm now ready to meet my person, but I'm not in a hurry. Lying. Why are you always lying? Ma'am, you, ma'am. Wait, wait a minute. You just said, <laughs> you're, where are you? But then now you say you're not in a hurry to meet him. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> okay. It says, I'm a busy mom and professional. However, I'm willing to make room for the actual right person. Uh, Ma'am, okay. You're also in college. You're, you're a busy mom professional. And so <laughs> what is in it for the man? Now she is attractive. There are men who will possibly take this deal just because she's very attractive. But ma'am, it's just your profile going about it all wrong. Just a couple nice things and your couple good pictures and let the men come to you. No, you have to put all of this here for some strange reason. Let's actually connect, ma'am. That tells us everything we need to know. <laughs> ma'am, when you say let's actually connect, that means that you're swiping above your price range still. You're swiping guys probably near your age who are attractive. And see, you have to fight for guy a guy who's 50 who's made it as well, who has resources, the men you guys are attracted to is going to date young women. You have to, you have to fight for that man then, ma'am. And you have to show him like, okay, I know I'm around your age, but I'm still a total catch. Ma'am, you're just talking about how busy you are. He's not going to take the deal. And then she says, first pick for my 50th birthday. And yes, it was just a few weeks ago. Ma'am, it's just, you just not positioning yourself correctly, ma'am, being a single mom with, and being so busy. <clears throat> Gentlemen and ladies, take a sec back. If you're so damn busy, good for you. You don't need to put it in your profile. Like you just make, cause here's the thing. Just, and men too, if you find a very hot woman on the apps and that you're highly attracted to, often you will make time for her. You know, you, you'll, I'm not saying drop everything, but you'll be like, 
maybe you're maybe you're gonna go out with your your friends on a Tuesday and like and you're like oh man I match with a very attractive woman like I'll probably hang out the same thing, ladies. I'm not saying drop everything, but often, you know, for the guy you're highly attracted to, you will. It's just so dumb to put how busy you are in these profiles you continue. So she is 41 and says, let's both, let's both save our time. I don't do hookups, hate the BS, and I'm not gonna waste my time with people pretending to be single. If you're married, go fix your marriage. Keep your shit together. I know what I want and what I'm looking, what are you looking for? I am not perfect and you are, so are you. So let's be real. If you have questions about me, ask me so we can have a conversation. I won't go on and write the story of my life here. If you're interested in me, then fine. Time to know it. Find time to know it. Don't worry. I don't. Bye. Oh, darkness is your ally. Ma'am, you really think that men who are self-respecting or anyone you'd be attracted to would ever read this and do anything with you? a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for him ma'am <clears throat> ma'am if you read a man's profile and all he did is woman shame and talk about you know the bad women he's met in his life and all this stuff would you respect him i'm just curious that would that you you'd resonate with something like this <laughs> i do not believe you <laughs> just full of and you know and these older ladies then wonder why men date younger women we don't want to deal with your crap ma'am go get some damn therapy and get you know, fix yourself it's just so unattractive to sit here and dump all this stuff on men like this I, I i don't know what to tell you ladies keep it fun and flirty but great pictures of yourself and let the men come to you this is so unattractive ma'am i'm going to send you on your way We continue. So she is 51 and says about me. What am I looking for? A boyfriend. I want someone to go out and do things. I like the dinner, concerts, etc. Why is it so hard to find a boyfriend? I'm not looking for a hookup. Please don't waste my time. I'm 5'9 and fit. I like average to fit guys. I usually date younger. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Ma'am, here, I think I found the problem. How about new? Ma'am, here's the problem. You. See, and we've this is exactly what I've talked about. Uh, women in this area. Into the danger zone. What they did cannot find relationships from men around their age. So what she's doing is having that young guy come over who we're about to see in just a second come over and he's he's smashing her and then ditching of course he is why would he ma'am a guy who's attractive who the guys you're swiping on that's what's and you like quote unquote average of fit guys and you want a tall you're saying right i'm five nine so and ma'am you're not all that fit i mean you're not as you're not obese or anything but you're not all that fit so she's full of herself she's got a single mom at 51 talking about her, how hard is it to find a boyfriend ma'am i know why she's gonna continue because she then says you can see her right here you know didn't no domestic skills this doesn't clean up behind her and in her bathroom and says non-negotiable no criminal past please and if i can just meet someone real that actually wants to meet in real life and ma'am i know exactly the problem this is who you keep swiping on See, young bad boy criminal Chad here is not going to, yeah, of course he's not going to commit to you. Why would he? He'll come over and, you know, and pump you and dump you. He's not going to commit to you, ma'am. It's so unrealistic. You're just, she's just average, not even average, boys. By the way, take a step back. I get a lot of people like, this chick's not even average. I, I look, I give the benefit of the doubt. I'm just saying there's no way they should be swiping on guys. And again, the best that are, you know, Chad type dudes that, that it's, re it, look, we can all agree. It's completely ridiculous right now that women only swipe four and a half percent of the time. Ridiculous. That is insane. There's tons of attractive, good men out there, but women all want the top percent and they can't have them and they get so frustrated and I will continue to meme them for it.
the average woman just doesn't know she's average or below average. And so they just, they all think they're still entitled to top tier men and they're not. It's ridiculous. There's lots of good average men. And these are good men. These aren't just because you don't make $150,000. You just make you a bad person. It's so stupid. Can you? So she is 53, executive assistant, and she's fairly attractive up there. You can see her, which is uh, about me. Where are all the active guys with a sense of humor who like to travel? One million dollars. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sure he'd like that. Where's all the guys that take me around traveling? Sure, I need a needle in a haystack. Not looking to get married, but no casual hookups either. Hang on. Stop the cap. Sure, ma'am. Never married. No kids, no drama. Stop the cap. I don't believe you, ma'am. Endless texting, thumbs down. Ma'am, then you keep picking the wrong guys. You don't see you as a prize. See, guys around your age that you probably are swiping on, are you're just another woman. Are you swiping on my 60s who you know, think, oh, she's a prize. Again, men have to think you're a prize for a relationship. And yeah, they'll smash. And that's what I'm saying. These, the older ladies, they get confused. Well, the young guy came over and, and, and you know, had better fun. Yeah, and then he left. Did he commit to you? And I had a lady comment actually, at a, 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 somewhere episode back. She's like, I'm 52, I have, I have men hitting on me all the time. Well, then why don't you have a boyfriend, ma'am? Why aren't you married? Because they're not committing to you. Are they committing to you? Or are they just asking you on dates? Two different things, continues. If you never want to actually just meet or just visiting, please swipe left. Oh my God, who the hell Cash. Damn, your profile, all you did, you said about, this is about me. You just complained about the kind of guys you're getting. You're not getting the guys you want because you're into here. Into the danger zone. And then you're talking about all this non-stuff. Yeah, needle and haystack. Man, the time for full tingles are over. You're in your 50s. If you wanted all that, you should have secured it when you were much younger and when you your SMV was way higher. As you get older, it's just different. You're not the same woman. Continue. And you can see her, she's had hot girls. She's still having hot girl summer. I mean, hang on. Red flag, stop. And she says, my most used to skill is my uncanny ability to find anything on offer up. And ma'am, I have this for you. She belongs to the streets. Ma'am, you're still looking for super exciting guys. You're probably swiping on younger guys. And they're wondering why won't he commit to me? Why would he, ma'am? Sticking your tongue out. I mean, look, look at this pose. You might as well be in her twenties. <laughs> You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> Good luck to you, ma'am. All right, so here at the Final Profile Day, and recently we haven't had the super delusional ones, but we've had just ones that are absolutely terrible, and this is the, this, one of those. I hope you're ready. Here we go. She is 41, says she's self-employed, and says, the key to my heart is bringing me co a cup of coffee, helping around the house, not being lost in your phone, playing video board and card games, watching movies with me and TV. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, can I ask you a question real quick? Uh, what is in it for the man? You see up there with her big frowny face and filtered face and she's not done boys. She continues with nonsense. She then says dating me will look like and she says tattoos, pretty eyes and thick thighs that's a huge bitch ma'am it's, it's just all wrong so far ma'am nothing is enticing whatsoever about this she continues here she is frowning at us again with a nice filtered picture and says if loving this is wrong i don't want to be right true crime shows and paranormal shows binge watching series scary movies not outdoorsy not a gym person <laughs> cooking coffee staying in pets being silly How about new? Ma'am. Great. So you're just going to always be a big girl. There's nothing enticing here. I guess we have to make you coffee and cook for you and just staying in all the time, being around your pets. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hell no. What a great deal for the man. But please, please continue, ma'am. She then says, the one thing you should know about me is I'm a relationship person. Faithful, loyal. Ma'am, music people who say they're faithful and loyal aren't, ma'am. <laughs> hey, I have this for you. Stop the cow. Then she then says, I'm divorced and have two kids. At home, I vape, I have pets and fish. I'm thick with a booty. That's a huge bitch. 
very long hair and thick thighs and ma'am, this profile is gonna get this. Ma'am, seriously, if you somehow find my channel, you know, message me, datingdelusion.gmail.com and let me help you with your profile because it's all wrong. Everything is wrong. You just... <laughs> you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! There's nothing enticing. Ask what the man can do for her. You have to fit in her frame with her kids and her pets. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> anyway... I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all the support and all our subscribers. If you did like the content, give it a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. It's free to do. It helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.